How to swim butterfly. The first step is to place your toes over the edge of the block. You want to make sure to curl your toes over the edge. The second step is to position your back leg with your toes 4 inches from the edge. The third step is to bend knees slightly and grab the block. The fourth step is to pull on the block with your arms and push off with your legs. The fifth step is to enter the water in a streamlined position and kick to the surface. The sixth step is the kick. The kick is the base of the stroke. This can be practiced on your front or your back. You want to push up with your chest and down with your hips in a teeter-totter motion. When you need to breathe, simply bring your head up and continue on. She's gonna take a breath and then put her head right back in the water. The seventh step is bringing in the arms. The arms are where most of your power comes in through the stroke. The easiest way to practice this is starting with one arm. After every three strokes, alternate arms. This will help you practice each arm while preparing you for both arms at once. The eighth step is to pull your arms all the way through the water and end at your hips. One way to practice this is to end the stroke with a wrist flick. This is an over-exaggeration of the motion, however it will build the strength needed in the actual stroke. Be sure to bring your arms up to your head under the water. This will help you get your arms in the right position for your next stroke. The ninth step is getting your arms and your legs to work together. This has to be done very rhythmic in order to work. There are two kicks for every one arm cycle. One kick is while your arms are fully extended forward and the second more powerful kick is where the arms are at your side. The tenth step is bringing your arms over the water straight. You want to make sure your arms are as straight as possible in order to force your body forward. The eleventh step is breathing. Breathing is one of the hardest parts of the stroke because if done incorrectly, bringing your arms around will be nearly impossible. The head should come up slightly above the water. As you can see, her head is only about an inch above the water. Directly after taking a breath, the head should go back in line with the spine. The twelfth and final step is finishing to the wall. Be sure to finish touching the wall with two hands. That is how to swim butterfly.